All right, welcome back. Just finishing up the straw cleanup here. Uh, this is the second load. I actually have more than 40,000 liters. Well, so far we're almost going to have uh, 80,000 by the time we're done, which is a surprise. So I had to I had to build a storage facility close by so I could do something with the straw. I could have sold it outright. Um, in fact, maybe I'll do that. Is uh, fill the, the pigs and the cows up with straw and then take over and then I'll show you where you can sell loose straw. Now, the trouble with straw is you get a lot more money if you sell it by the bale and not by the bowl. Um, there's always been a lot of discussion about what the most profitable crop was in the game. And the truth is, the most profitable by far is grass. And because you can turn it into silage. And silage bales sell for $2,600 per bale all the time. There's no, there's no, I'll show you what I mean, but there it is. I can't go there. There we go. Um, you can sell it. Wait, is, that, is that enough? I didn't get my alert saying that was enough. Easy enough to check. Uh, yep, yeah, that's maximum straw. Okay, so the way the game is, is you see all these prices here, right? And you can sell straw. You can sell uh, manure, which is the uh, pile with the steam coming out of it. You can sell that at the biogas plant. Uh, and the liquid tank would be slurry. Or you can sell silage. And right now it's $475 per 1,000 liters. So as long as you continue to dump silage into there and not stop, you'll get $475 per 1,000 liters forever. For 4 million liters, if that's what you have. But the difference is, is a bale, which is 4,000 liters, is over $500 per 1,000 liters. Now, yes, yeah, sometimes you get more than that in bulk form, but if it stops, or if you load one trailer full in, then the price drops. And the same goes for straw. Uh, it doesn't actually have a price for straw, which is that bale there, because you've got 40,000 in five liters. Um, what we'll do is we'll run over to the pig farm and fill them with straw. Then we'll load this up and I'll show you what you can sell. But when you sell by bulk, every time you sell a trailer load, the, the price drops. Um, which is not something that's great. So back to the most profitable crop <laughs> is grass by far, which turned into silence. You can sell it for 2600 something per bale. Um, and that's always the same. But the other nice thing about it is if you can sell it to the biogas plant, you get that free liquid fertilizer. I also put it on cruise here. Um, after that, things get a little bit screwed. Now, you could argue that before Platinum Edition came out, where they added sugar cane, that Sugar beets were the most profitable crop after grass, then potatoes, then probably probably corn. Now, you can hear some arguments that wheat and barley are the most profitable crops, but let's take a look at the prices. First of all, the prices are extremely low. I mean, $729 per 1,000 liters is really, really good for wheat. And as you can see, it is still only half of what soybeans are at even some of the worst prices. Now, you cannot make up that $700 per 1,000 liters in price, in straw. I, not by bales, not by selling new straw. You simply can't make up the difference 
of 729 to 1598 or 1650, um, the only thing that you do is you get a lot more wheat than you get soybeans, but the same, the same rule is applied. If you go to the mill and you take 40,000 liters of wheat to the mill and you sell it to them, and then the price is going to go down. It's probably going to go down to $700 per thousand liters, and it's going to continue to go down. But if you sold the exact same 40,000 liters of soybeans, which may, you know, will take you uh, more acreage to get that, then the price drops down to like, say, $1,400 per one. Now you see what I mean? Is, yeah, you get far less yield with soybeans than you do wheat. But you simply can't make up the price by selling straw in bulk form and if you don't sell it in bulk form you have to sell by the bale so now you have to get into how much does it cost for baling equipment you know this wool belt is the cheapest at fifty eight thousand dollars well it's going to take a lot of straw to make up fifty eight thousand dollars plus a hundred and ten dollars a day in maintenance costs and then you probably need a baler so this is a six or an eight bale baler and that's another forty thousand dollars. So you see, you're a hundred thousand dollars, and it takes a long time. I'll show you. It takes a long time to make that up in straw profit. Uh, what do you mean straw? Oh, that's water. Straws over here. So it's not there was the second most uh, hours I put in the game. And it was, uh, on my old save, it was, I think, about 340 hours. We definitely want this field here. So after I get done with the straw, we've got a lot of other work to do. Uh, I should have got that. We'll get back and we'll get that fence, or we won't do the fence yet. We'll get 40,000 meters of straw here. We'll sell 40,000 meters of straw to the barn, um, or our barn, or there's another barn that's close by. And then we'll get the plow running, and then we'll get, we'll get planting with the fence. And then after that, it's a waiting game, and what I'll probably do off camera will be a lot of just local job work. Actually, we could swing over and plant those trees, but we'll have to get a water tank to do anything with those trees. Uh, I figured apple trees was more likely than orange trees in Eastern Europe. So we'll uh, get in some apple trees. They're, they're a bot and they, they act like uh, greenhouses. Of course, I don't have any manure at this point, so we're only going to get water. We'll pull it to our, to our stop here. We'll just fill this up and sell all 40,000 liters of straw. Now we have to make up, you know, $700 per 1,000 liters. And so this whole this whole trailer full, if you've got 700 per, per 40,000, you should get Twenty-eight thousand dollars for this. Otherwise, we're not going to. We're going to get twenty-eight hundred dollars, maybe, or even less. Uh, no, we might get six thousand uh, dollars. We'll see. But it's uh, six thousand dollars for the first load. After that, it all goes down. So we can pull into here. We've got our tip side on the bottom right-hand corner. You'll see miles per hour, fuel, straw, forty thousand liters, the tractor. Yeah, cruise control and then that tip sign. So we just tip it in here. We'll dump 40,000 liters and we'll see what kind of money we need. Since there's not a price listed for straw anywhere, I have no idea what we'll make here. $2,500. So $2,500. Divided by, you know, uh, 40. 
instantly. It, it's it's no. You get four hundred about four hundred and forty one dollars per bale of straw. Um, so you're getting less than I promise you're getting less than four hundred and forty one dollars per thousand meters per straw. Probably gonna get somewhere in the neighborhood of seventy, sixty, seventy dollars per one thousand if you can figure it figured out. Um, we can check our harvest income over here. Our harvest income is $2,534 divided by 40,000 liters. That'll give you the amount. Um, so about $60 per thousand liters is what that is. 60 times 40,000 would be 2,400. Um, you'll see this property income is how I got our extra money. Because uh, this is an Xbox, so I can't just edit the save game. Okay, all right, so we're just gonna drop the trailer off right here. We'll come back for it. We get the plow on him, get him working this field. Oops, go by by, it's right over here. Such a great sound effect. Maybe they'll look upside down again. I'm going to run a strip across this way. Actually, probably just plow this way. This is a relatively square field. You see these trees, while these trees are here, they're just going to be in the way. And uh, we'll get a local to do that work for us. We'll follow. Let's see here, what kind of speeds? We're going eight miles per hour with this plow. I think that cultivator is going to get about nine or ten. So we're going to have to wait until he's well over halfway done with this field before we can let the cultivator loose. Or the director will not the cultivator. We'll get positioned over here. This is a nine meter wind, so yeah, definitely at least two thirds of the way is what we're gonna need from this guy or from the plowman before we cut the uh, cedar roots. Get stuck. Oh, okay, good. Excellent. All right. Next. Uh, while they do that, we need to find something else to do here. Uh, we're not going to be done before the end of the video. Excuse me. We need to buy some more, some other new equipment. Actually, what we'll do. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of other equipment. Start loading up. Actually, let's do this. Let's leave the trailer. We'll get a little bit of water. Build water up. We can take water. Uh, get water for the cows, for the sheep, and for the kids. We're just prepping, getting ready for them. You know, it's going to be a day and a half before our crops are ready anyway. So, the harvest is in, and we're just this is how I like to do a map. If I'm going to have animals on it, it's just start prepping as soon as I can. You know, we don't have a lot of fields, so we can't do a lot of our own work, which means that we'll have to find something else to do. Also, we're going to, you know, going to do some tree cutting here. Um, go down to animals. Actually, that's the wrong one. We want to go to miscellaneous, and we'll find our little. Eight thousand. Put an attached around there. We'll give it this kind of light blue color to represent water. Go 
there's a little pond down by the by the farm. We also go over to the mill pond over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, we're not supposed to pass on a bridge, but we did anyways. Breaking the law, breaking the law. They've got their dotted white lines down here. I'm not sure what the solid white line must be like a, a no passing lane, like in the US, it would be a double yellow line, which is a no passing. So maybe the solid white line is no passing. Maybe you're not supposed to pass on a bridge in case something bad happens, you've got nowhere to go. We can zoom over here and back into this pond. The water's a little got some growth, but it won't have to be out of it. back up in the pond. Five hundred meters, not quite thirty two hundred meters, just under thirty two hundred meters. What I'll do afterwards, uh, after the is uh, I'll collect a bunch of pig food. I'm going to work this field over here too. Let's see how much time do I have. What's our stage at? Our growth stage on that field. Oh, we got time. It's not even orange yet. I'm going to work that field because I want to get the price down as far as possible. We'll warm, we definitely want this big field for, for corn. Um, it's 300 400 pigs, you know, they use a lot of corn, and they're going to need lots of it. We won't get that many right away. Yeah, that's just crazy. Uh, we're setting ourselves up, or setting ourselves up to fail there, and spending a huge amount of money on pig food instead of growing our own crops, which is much more uh, efficient and far cheaper. Roundabouts and navigate, and then just off to our left. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Taking our second right, so we're supposed to turn our right turn signal on for that. Um, so I don't know which the turn signal buttons are. I don't know. Uh, the, the locals don't use turn signals either, so I don't feel so bad. This is sheep pasture. Now, what will happen, regardless of how many that you get, you won't see 400 kids or 150 sheep. You'll probably see anywhere from 10 to 12 sheep. And the same for pigs and the same for cows. Uh, the game just doesn't render all of that. I mean, that's crazy to think. I mean, that's just too much. Um, 
I have this big giant map that I play. It's called uh, Who Hooter Who That Ranch or Who That Hooter Ranch. Or I can't remember. Anyway, it's huge, massive. It's excellent for great big equipment. And um, unfortunately, it's got a few bugs though. Put the traffic on. It drops frames a lot. So I actually had to turn the traffic off for that. But it's a great place for massive equipment, and especially if you wanted to have just a huge amount. I think I have uh, 500 pigs, 200 cows, and 170 sheep. Uh, but I've got so much crop. I like the smallest field I have. Uh, I think it's five hectares, and I, mean, I have some great big fields. We're talking 12. 14, 15 hectares in size. Absolutely massive. Um, let's go ahead and fill this. Uh, you know what? I think, let's see where this vent, or this vulture is. I think we can go ahead and get this vent started off. Um, it's not going to get finished before time's up because it's up. <laughs> but uh, you saw what happened at the last film. I don't know the last video. I don't, you don't need to see planting. You know, 40 times to get the gist of it. We're just doing oil seed radish and fertilizer. And we're hiring some locals to do the work. I was in his way there just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refill this water trough or this water tank and pick up the pigs because we're going to uh, I'm going to load up a bunch of pig food and Oh, you're not still knocked by that. Thing. And when we do the next video, we'll buy a whole bunch of pigs. To get started, because that's how we're going to get our that's how we're going to get our manure and our manure part of it, one way. The biggest way is through cattle. Cattle produce way more fertilizer than the pigs do, um, but they're also uh, a lot more expensive. Well, not a lot more, but marginally, but I think that, I can't remember what pigs are. I think pigs are three thousand dollars in cattle at five thousand dollars and sheep at four thousand dollars. So anyway I want to say thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.